If you want to win more Madden games, it's best to use the best playbooks in the game. Now, since a lot of people just got the game for Christmas, I like to do my updated tips around this time of the year to kind of catch everything back up to speed as things have changed since the beginning of the year. So we're going to go over the top five best playbooks currently in Madden 21. This works for current and next gen. It actually works better on next gen because the defense is so much worse on next gen. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell icon if you're new so that you never miss out on any of the Madden news or updated tips that I'm going to be dropping. Dropping. Without further ado, let's get into the five best playbooks. Okay, so first we're going to talk about a couple of quick honorable mentions and then we're going to get into the official top five. Now, I always have to include the Ravens playbook somewhere, whether it's in the official top five or an honorable mention, just because it's a very unique playbook right you've got a lot of pistol stuff in this playbook with a ton of jet sweep passes a lot of designed qb runs a lot of triple options options and things like that and that's what makes this playbook unique it can be tough to defend if you utilize this playbook to its strengths which is playing with a qb like a lamar jackson you got the heisman package of course you've got a lot of qb power runs and stuff like that again the jet sweeps it's just a playbook that's a lot to deal with if you really scheme with it properly but you still also have really good passing sets like tray offset bunch bunch open you've got spread stuff you've got trips tight end flex which is very good you have some five wide spread stuff so kind of gives you a little bit of everything but if you've got a lamar jackson type qb a kyler murray type qb this playbook offers a lot of unique stuff that you just can't find in other playbooks now for the final honorable mention i have to talk about the 49ers playbook you could argue that this is a top five playbook it's close either way to be honest with you but when you talk about what it has under center and then plus what it has in shotgun, it just has almost a little bit of everything. But one of the things that stands out the most about this playbook is how good it is under center. It is one of the few playbooks that have the I form close, which is a really good under center formation. But this isn't even the best formation that it has. What it really has that is great is the strong close and it's the best strong close in the game. Now, the great thing about this is you can audible seamlessly pretty much from I form close to strong close and vice versa, which makes it really, really tough but this is by far the best strong close in the game you can run the ball well out of it but you can really pass the ball great with this you can bomb every coverage it's got all the plays you're looking for like wide receiver out wide trail it has mesh posts which is not found in a lot of strong closes you've got fl drives you got off tackle runs you've got dives you've got the inside post you've got your end around if you're into getting a little creative you've got double post you've got pad pa scissors it's really between this and iphone close it can be a tough offense to defend but when you come to shotgun, of course, you've got split close, you've got tray, you've got tight, which is actually pretty good in this playbook. You just have a lot of versatility. But if you're an under center guy, this is one of the playbooks you definitely want to look at. Coming in at number five is the Chargers playbook. This one, I don't believe made my top five at the beginning of the year, but it was kind of on my radar. And as the year has gone on, it's become pretty evident that this is one of the better playbooks now in terms of under center it's not too crazy you've got just enough that you need when you need to go run the ball like an I form wing or something like that just when you need to pick up those yards but this is a passers playbook and the main formation you're going to want to look at in this playbook is the trips tight end the trips tight end is arguably the best offense this year if not the best it's definitely top two people go back and forth between trips tight end and bunch uh trips tight end though if you know how to run it is very good and this is one of the best trips tight ends in the entire game it has pretty much every play you could want but what else is good about this is this playbook does have a pretty good bunch as well so when you're talking about the two best passing formations in the game this playbook has both and you can audible pretty easily between both of them now this isn't the best bunch playbook in the world but it is pretty decent and when you combine it with the fact that you have a really solid trips tight end having that extra you know decent bunch also makes this playbook really tough to stop and then of course you've got gun tight you've got some other good passing sets you got trips tight end flex which is really good as well very very good at, in terms of shotgun and passing but the trips tight end is really what makes this playbook shine Coming in at number four is the Patriots playbook. This is always in the top five, pretty much no matter what, whether it's the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year, every year, because it's just one of those playbooks that is so stacked and unique. Now, under center wise, it's decent. It's not the craziest, kind of similar to the Chargers playbook. It is just enough under center for when you need to run the ball on the goal line. You've got iPhone tight, which is good. You've got a couple good things in single back, but this is another shotgun heavy playbook, and it starts with the split close pads. It's one of the best split close in the game and split close has been a pretty good offense most years this year I would say a little bit better than the last few years but you have that and it's always a staple of this playbook the gun a slot offset is also another really 
good offense. Probably has been a little bit better in years past, but it's still very good. In fact, I did an entire breakdown of this offense at the beginning of the year. I will link that below because it is still very good to this day if you want something new to run and you haven't checked it out yet. But also very much so like the Chargers playbook, this is a really good trips playbook. Now, first you have the Y off trips pass, which has just been really good every year. Very tough formation with a lot of really good plays in it, but it also has a really good trips tight end. Just as good as the Chargers in my opinion, maybe even slightly better. It might have a, a play or two that the Chargers don't have. So again, trips tight end is a top two offense. This is one of the best trips tight end playbooks and that's why it's in the list. But then again, you also have a very good gun bunch as well. The two best passing formations, you can kind of go back and forth between these two with audibles and you have a lot of good plays there. But what makes this playbook a little bit better than the Chargers is the addition of things like the A slot offset and the split close, which that playbook does not have. So the Patriots playbook number four on the list. Now, coming in at number three on the list is a playbook that's always been pretty good, but it usually does not make my top five, and that is the Panthers playbook. However, this year, the Panthers playbook has changed. Some would say for the better, but it has been good even in the older versions. But with a new head coach and new offensive coordinator, this playbook got a little bit of an upgrade. So under center is decent in this playbook. You have things like I form close. So again, if you need to run, you do have some things you can go to. You have weak close flex. But the really special thing about this playbook is the gun bunch offset. Now, as I said, the bunch form we know is good every year typically it's the bunch week or the regular bunch uh, but in this playbook the bunch offset is a go-to formation for a lot of people this year specifically because of this one play right here double post you could probably say this is the best play in the game. Some people would argue some other plays, but this has probably been the most run play by most people this year. Not something I've really used a lot, but it is a very, very tough play to defend. And this one play alone literally makes this playbook a top playbook because that play is just that good. But the entire gun bunch offset in here, you've got plays like mesh post. You've got some other plays in here. You've got your verticals. You've got your screens and all that good stuff. But the double post mixed with some of these other plays make this formation super tough to stop. But then you do have a bunch strong which typically isn't the more popular version of bunch but in this playbook being able to audible between the two you definitely have a tough offense to stop and that's really kind of the bread and butter of this playbook you obviously have some other good formations in here some trip stuff some tray wide flex which is always nice some empty panther some spread stuff when you go around but really the money in this playbook is going to be bunch strong and bunch offset specifically the double post play one of the rare uh, instances where one play alone and kind of one formation alone really just makes an entire playbook worth using and that is the case with the Panthers playbook. Number two on the list is my personal favorite playbook this year, but I'm trying to kind of consider the playbooks that everybody uses. And for me, number two is my favorite, which is the Seahawks playbook. It's the one I've been using for most of the year. It's just a very stacked playbook. It's really number one in my heart, but the true number one playbook, I think most people would say is number one to them. So I'm trying to consider everybody in this ranking. But of course, you've got a lot of under center stuff if you need to run. It's a very balanced playbook. You've got some pistol stuff as well, but in shotgun, you've just got so much you've got wing pair you've got ace offset you've got wing slot offset but as we get through here you're gonna see you have trips tight end offset you have a gun bunch one of the better gun bunches in the game this is a very very good gun bunch you've got clear out se out which is not in a lot of playbooks you've got bunch trail you're gonna even have obviously your verticals you have flood you have mesh post you have a read option you have a really stacked bunch but as you scroll around you've got other things you've got bunch tight end a formation that's not in a lot of playbooks being able to audible between these two is really good and bunch tight end is very good this year but as you keep scrolling there's more you've got bunch open tight end you've got tight slots which is okay but you even have tray life flex which is another really good formation has been for a few years you've got a lot of just firepower in this playbook you've got empty bunch another formation that's not in a whole lot of playbooks so there's just a lot of versatility and balance throughout this entire playbook it's my personal favorite um but, you know, the number one playbook is going to be number one because it's kind of just a playbook that I think more people would say is their true number one. And number one on the list for the second straight year, probably the fourth video in a row of the last two years that I've covered playbooks, it's the Las Vegas Raiders. It just has too much when you consider under center and shotgun. It's got some unique stuff. You've got deuce close. You've got wing flex close, the best wing flex close in the game, and this is a rare formation at that. You've got the best eye form close in the game, I believe, in this playbook, but just eye form in general, you have everything. You've got H slot, slot close, H slot open, H tight, H wing. Then you've also got a really good strong close as well you've got strong tight strong h-wing it's just you know weak 
close flex. It's just got so much under center. If you're a runner, if you're an under center guy, this is the playbook for you, but you're not really sacrificing much in shotgun either. You've got tight doubles. You've got some spread stuff, some trip stuff. You have a really good trips tight end in this playbook as well, which I said, you know, top two offense in the game. This is kind of on par with some of the other trips tight ends. Uh, you got bunch tight end. Again, not in a whole lot of playbooks, and you got that in this playbook. You also have gun bunch. It's not one of the better gun bunches, but it has a few good plays in it, and when you combine it with everything else that the playbook has, you know, it can suffice. You know, you've got tight, you've got spread stuff, you've also got Trey Y flex, another good formation, you've got some good spread stuff. So, really for me, between Seattle and Las Vegas, it's kind of preference. If you're more of an under center guy, you're definitely going to lean Las Vegas. If you're more of a shotgun guy, you really could lean both ways. It just depends on which particular plays the playbooks have that you might prefer over the other. But I think when you consider everything that Las Vegas has to offer, you know, it's like a created playbook. So it's it's truly still the best and most packed playbook in the game. Hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.